interpretation of J.M. Barry's Peter Pan. All children, except one, grow up. Tinkerbell, Tink, do you know where they have put my shadow? If he thought at all, but I don't believe he ever thought, it was that he and his shadow, when brought near to one another, would join like drops of water. And when they did it, he was appalled. He sat on the floor and cried. His sobs woke Wendy. Boy, why are you crying? What's your name? Wendy, Laura, Angela, darling. What's yours? Peter Pan. Where do you live? With the Lost Boys. Who are they? They are the children who fall out of their cribs when the nurse is looking the other way. I'm Captain. What fun that must be! Yes, but we are rather lonely. You see, I don't have a mother. None of the Lost Boys have a mother. Oh, Peter, no wonder you are crying. Wendy, do come with me and be our mother. in your silly bed, you might be flying about me and saying funny things to the stars. I'll teach you how to ride in the wind's back, and away we go! Second to the right, and straight on, tell Lordy! This, Peter said, was the way to Neverland. But not even birds carrying maps could have found it by these instructions. Peter simply said whatever came into his head. Feeling that Peter was on his way home again, the Neverland had woke into life. In the old days, the Neverland had been made believe, but it was real now. Oh, that's the way you always do, a pirating we go! And if we're parted by a shot, we're, we're sure to meet below! We're sure to meet below! Shh. <laughs> Who are they? Pirates! Who is Captain? Hook. <laughs> James Hook? Aye. Hook. Such is the terrible man against whom Peter Pan is pitted. Which will win. On this evening... <laughs> When I appear by fear, they're overtook. 
Nas left upon your bones and you have shaken claws with hook. Have shaken claws. <laughs> <laughs> In the old days, the Neverland had always begun to look a little dark and threatening by bedtime. Then unexplored patches arose in it and spread. Black shadows moved throughout them, and above all, you lost the certainty that you would win. Wendy, take, take us home! home. Yes, at once! <laughs> Peter, will you make the necessary arrangements? If you wish it. <laughs> yeah. Get your things, Peter. I'm not going with you, Wendy. Yes, Peter. No. I just want to always be a little boy and have fun. Now then, no fuss, no blubbering. Goodbye, Wendy. Captain, can we kidnap those boys, Mother? And make her be our mother? <laughs> it is a princely scheme. We will seize the children. The boys will walk the plank, and Wendy shall be our mother. Ha! <laughs> the pirate attack had been a complete surprise. It was Pan who wanted Pan and Wendy and the band, but chiefly Pan. The more quickly this horror is disposed of, the better. The capture of Wendy and the boys. I'll rescue her! He swore this terrible <coughs> oath. Hook or me this time. Ah, envy not Hook. Yo-ho, yo-ho, the frisky plank you walked along and so Till it goes down to you the Danny Jones below! It's Danny Jones below! See him! I'll save you if you promise to be my mother. I would almost rather have no children at all. Hide me! I suppose you may think Hook a coward, but he had a right to be afraid. We see the work of the ticking crocodile everywhere around us. Time is chasing all of us. Isn't that right? But it was no crocodile coming to the children's aid. It was Peter. He went right on ticking. <laughs> one! What was that? There's none to save you now! There's one! Peter Pan, the Avenger! Cleave him to the rescue! Oh, oh boys, and at them! <laughs> and then nothing could have been easier than for the two of them to fly away together. But one thing barred the way. An oath. Hook or me this time. To drive be an awfully big adventure. Put up your swords, boys. <gasps> this man is mine. So, Pat, this is all your doing. I, James Hook, it is all my doing. Proud and insolent youth, prepare to meet thy doom. Dark and sinister man, have at thee. James Hook, thou not wholly unheroic figure, farewell, for we have come to his last moment. <laughs>